I was born for world domination, Chucky. Never thou wilt have to laugh. Your comedy would be compulsory. Spontaneous hilarity will be timetabled three times per day. Everyone will laugh until they drop. A golden age, Chucky. A golden age. Chucky, Chucky! Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! That's creepy. Right. Greetings, shopkeeper. Good day, sir. Can I interest you in our toys? There's today's special, an amusing line of bells and whistles. Or there's Violent Bob, the doll with a face you can rip clean off. Hey, It's very therapeutic. <sighs> I'm sure. The sort of thing you can share with your brothers. Brothers of evil, walking arm in arm across the rooftops of the world. Are you all right? Pardon? Oh, yes, yes. Never felt better. So, can I help you at all, sir? Anything special catch your eye? Oh, no, just browsing. Browsing? Yes. Not, not plotting? Definitely not. Not secretly planning the overthrow of the patrician and the total dominance of the city? No, no, not at all. Oh, damn. Why do you ask, sir? Wow, the way. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> That's funny. Special today. Sweet, pretty pony home abattoir. Somehow, I don't think it'll catch on. Yes, a fairly eclectic. Can't say as I approve. Okay. Crackers? That's dangerous, that is. Someone ought to lock those up in a box. Gunpowder. I already have one. I don't remember how to do this. 
I go here. I'm going to put this in there. Need light. Oh, no, thanks. I've already got one. This all takes an effort, you know. I'm putting myself in just for you when there are thousands of other things I could be doing. Do I see any gratitude? I don't think so. Just stop following me, will you? I hope you realize I'm working my fingers to the bone! Let's see. So that should leave on. Yep, there it is. Okay. So if I take this, the matchbook. Absolutely no desire to talk to that person at this time. So I should have the. Okay, I do. Uh, let's see. So now I gotta make it back to the dragon. Where is the dragon at? Barn? Get the barn. Yeah. Let's 
Here you go, Dargon. Excellent. You're doing quite well for a soft spoon. Thanks! Well... And one of those key. Excellent. Thanks. One is the belt. Thanks. One is the cap. Excellent. Thanks. Thanks. And the trowel. Ah, now I have it. Finally, I am free. Good. Well, you'll be off now, I suppose. <laughs> you know, back home to the old dimension. Home comforts. Put your tail up and relax. Never. Now it is time to wreak my revenge upon this miserable world. First, I shall deal with the members of the Brotherhood. And then I shall come back for you. Me? Well, I wasn't even a part of it. You were there? Yes, but... Don't make any plans for the evening. The dragon's pretty fucking harsh. Oh well, not much you can do about it. Which is here now, and there's a carpet. Okay. That doesn't work. This has to be the mangiest magic carpet I've ever seen. How's the cutest witch in town to die? Go on, you're pulling my leg, love, so you are. How could you tell? Then again, there's no harm in hoping, is there? Ooh, give us a kiss, love, just a little one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks. I'll pass. That doesn't. That doesn't. The fuck. <sighs> nice day for. No oh, time. Everybody. That don't. Out. How... Go. How could you? Then. Yeah. Oh, thanks. That doesn't... Oh dear, and it's trying to keep... How... How could you... That... Oh, thank... That doesn't... That doesn't... Fuck. Oh. That doesn't... Oh, what the fuck? This is still her custard book. Where's that at? Confused. i to look it up.
Yes, it's a witchy stall, all right. That doesn't care to step and shut. This has to Yes. Oh dear, it's and it's trying to keep I have no idea what's happening. It's mentioning the book, but I don't see a fucking book. Maybe if I leave and come back? Oh. This. Oh, what the fuck? Just have to ask. So, you finally got your vending permit. Sure did, dearie. Wound that old patrician round my little wasp name, so I did. Well, the one monitor is the touchscreen one that I use for, like, Beat Mania and all that stuff. What the other one is just a Samsung TV. And the other one is my drawing tablet, so... Well, how about this magic carpet? Low mileage, only one owner, a little old lady who took it out once a week for a spin to the market. Look at that decor, all the trimmings. More like all the frayings, by the look of it. Come on now, sweetie, do you want it or not? Well, okay then. Oh, now the book is there. So if I do this... How could you... Then again... Well, she expects a kiss... I grab the book. Fucking goddamn it! How's the? And it's only like one pixel in there that I actually had to fucking click on. There we go. It's annoying. Okay, so I got a custard book. Now what? I don't see it. Oh, the library. Got it. I gotta go back to the library. Saints Row 1 is free? On Steam? Yeah, this is an old game, so there's no analog stick usage. But um, I do, since this game does work with mice, I am actually using the mouse for it. It's still a little bit annoying because it's super sensitive. Like one quick, not even a quick flick, but barely any movement goes from one side of the screen to the other.
that doesn't... Ye illust... Oh, yes. Can you... Ooh. Well, I mean, if you are, you know... Ooh. No, you can't... Oh, blah. Did you get the number of that? This seems like a good cue. Shit. Uh, let's see. Let's just pick up the dragon protection button. I don't know where the fuck that is. Where's the dragon detection book? Oh, uh, wait, okay, this part of the game can be a little bit buggy, apparently. So what I have to do is save here go back to the past and grab the book that the thief tries to grab and grab it before he does okay now that i have it Now when I go to the future, the dragon being there, no, well, the dragon shouldn't be there, technically. That's two no traps. Oh. Famine? Have you got... Uh, dying? Well, I accuse Colonel Horseradish in the library with a lead pipe. Um, are you sure we're all playing the same game again? Damn. I've forgotten what I was going to say now. That little idiot over there has ruined my concentration. War, is he one of yours? Him? No, that's one of Death's. You shouldn't let them run around loose like that, Death. They could breed, and then you'll never get rid of them. Want me to kill him for you? No. No point, maybe. Death? Have you got Mr. Bun the baker? Not until his oven explodes next week. Oh, I see what you mean. Wait. So I'm stuck in the past? Oh. Okay. Wait, he shouldn't have the... I still have the book. Oh, that motherfucker. Hold on. So I'm supposed to do something else once I get the other book. Oh, I gotta put the custard book in its place. Oh, I know. Okay. So 
So I wait for the dude to arrive. Then he'll grab the custard book. Or not. And then I go back to the future. Because the dragon threatened to kill me. That's true. Wait, what the fuck? Okay. Custard book is gone. So that wasn't supposed to happen. That was a bug. So I think what I'm supposed to do is... Oh, I'm an idiot. So I'm supposed to get the dragon book and swap the covers. No, you fucking cuck. God damn it. <sighs> so I gotta be really fast on this. He's not fucking putting it back in time. Oh, wait, no, maybe I did do that. Oh, I guess I did do it. Okay. Hail, brother Doorkeeper! Opener, keeper, what's it matter? Well, I don't have to open it to just anybody who turns up. You could be a spy. A spy? Well, it's a possibility. You could be a very clever spy wearing a very effective disguise. Open the blasted door. What's the password? All right. Being closer. It's... Spoons. Swordfish. Right? No. What? You didn't say Simon says. Open the door or I'll kill you. Da, ah, the other password. The hail, brothers. Hail. 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 Oh, hail. Yay, right. Hail. For the once again, the elucidated brethren of the sword are met. For the once again, we shall weave 
the weapons of power. For we know now it is our destiny to rule this city. Oh, Chucky! Chucky, Chucky! Hail! Yes. Once I thought it was my destiny to build a paper mache dinosaur in my bedroom. Then I thought it was my destiny to win the men's overland saxophone championship. But now I know. I finally know that it is my destiny to rule Ank Morpork. Here, what about us then? The Marine Company, with these, my loyal lack of uh, loyal comrades. New age shall dawn, my friend. Hail! An age of power and majesty. Hail! An age of freedom without indoor plumbing and the job losses it entails. Hail! A world where a man can carry out his legitimate wealth redistribution business without worrying about quotas. Hail! Where cheap replastering will be outlawed in favour of major structural reinforcement. Yea, a place where low mackerel sales will be a thing of the past. And compulsory smoke through cleanliness will be rigorously enforced. Hail! Brother Brigwit, Brother Broom, bring the toad. Now, for the spell of power, I'm going to bring out the components of the potion, Brother Lightfinger. Yes, Brother Chuckles. Oh, I'm the dark spirits of the universe. In this bowl, I'm going to read you consecration. Except now the eggs. Eggs and this measure of corn flour. <laughs> As we consign the potion to the flame, the boil and burn, blaze and bubble. Wait, it says here to simmer at low temperature for 15 minutes. Good grief. Well, what the hell is going on? What exactly are we making? <laughs> Oh, what? Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. I have triumphed. Goodness overcomes evil once again. The land is liberated, the serpent is gone, the dragon is dead. The dragon is dead, I killed him, me. I shall humbly submit to whatever fabulous rewards you feel I deserve. Dragon? Don't be ridiculous, dragons don't exist. What? Quite so, and since no one believes in them, we can hardly reward you for disposing of one. Next! Here, yeah, wait a minute, I slew a dragon. A real, bona fide, verifiable dragon. They don't exist. Yes, they do. No, they don't. 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 Yes, they do. Do, 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 do and do. No, they don't. They do. They exist if you believe in them. Ah, but no one believes in them. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Excuse me. Thank, thank you so very, very much. They do. No, they don't. They do, they do, they do. Dragons, you know, huge, vile, evil, stenchful, slavering... Hello again. Oh, well, when I say 
believe, of course, I meant, mm, had heard rumours, unsubstantiated. Yes, well, now I'm back. There's a few matters to attend to. In a way, it sort of is. Uh, the series oh. is made by a British author. Sorry about the uh, slavery thing. This was his, like, world, basically. It's like a mixture of Monty Python and D&D, I would say. Yes. It's pretty interesting. I'll deal with you later. You summoned it. You get rid of it. Well, here we go again. You're all guards, custodians of the law, God knows. What do you think makes a hero? Well, a true hero doesn't know he's a hero, does he? I mean, it's all relative. How do you mean relative? It's like maybe you ought to get a relative to fight the dragon. Oh, that's clever. I wish... Ah, Oops. you've got to be at least a corporal to have tactical ideas like that. Oh, good grief. Look, all I want to know is... Have you got spare relatives, sir? Well... There you are, then. Case closed. She's nearly 80. Better than wasting a younger person, then? Yeah. Trust the dragon will eat anyone. Right. Right. Look, well, a hero always knows what to do next. Ooh. His aunt. His aunt's going to fight the dragon? Let's hear it for a brave old lady. Shut up about my aunt. My aunt's not fighting the dragon. I need a proper hero. You said your aunt was a hero. Didn't he say that? Corporal Nobbs, he said his aunt was a hero. I heard him. Oh, I'd be proud of her if I was him. Look, let's not start that again. How do you actually recognize a hero? They've got a birthmark. Means they're a king or what's they? All heroes do. That's what makes them heroes. Oh yeah, that too. He is voiced by Eric Idle. Has your aunt got one? Have you ever asked? How often do you write to her these days? What do you brave soldiers know about dragon slaying? I mean, what kind of chance would someone like me have against a dragon? Listen, mate, the odds of killing a dragon must be a million to one. You'd have to be a hero. So what are the odds of someone like me finding everything a hero has to have? What? Forget it, mate. The odds of you finding all that stuff would be... A million to one? Yeah, that's it. Mm. Okay, that's kind of just showing me. So tell me, what would be the odds of me slaying a... If I had a birth and... If I was wearing a black mark? After taking into account the expected number of butterflies flapping their wings at the time... Hmm... That would have to be a hundred. Okay, so in order for me to defeat the dragon, I need to collect the birthmark, apparently, a magical talisman, some camouflage, a spell, a mustache, and a sword that goes ting. So. I need I need something to drink actually. So what I'm going to do is save.
run a couple ads, get something to drink, and then continue the game. So let's see. What do I do next? Head inside and into the closet. Okay. Some luggage. Matches. Why do I have starch? I don't know. Gotta go inside the kitchen. But yeah, it yeah, this was a really early launch title for the PlayStation. When it comes to this whole playing through every PlayStation game, I'm doing it based off of release dates in the United States. So, yeah. Let's grab that. Yeah, especially for early point-and-click games like these. Like the more comedic point-and-click games, not the super serious ones. A lot of those ones had weird idle animations and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a while. <laughs> Got a lot to go through. I don't even know how many games there are, like 700 something maybe? Maybe even more than that? All I know is that there's a lot. And even then, I for these first couple of games, I'm not sure what the actual release date are on them. So I think these ones are out of order, but I know that the next few after this one will be. Let's see. Damn, that was basic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do every game. I'm not joking about that. I'm gonna do every fucking game and, and beat them. So even those games, I'm going to, I'm going to play those games, even if they're fucking terrible. Now, when it comes to games like, I don't know, games that don't have an ending, I'll probably play them until I reach either a looping point where the game will just continue looping or like a kill screen or something, if those exist. Mm, hello? Hail! Yes, hail, brother doorkeeper. Right, give me the password and I'll let you in. Oh, all right. Ah, let's see now. It, it's blah, 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 spoons, blah, 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 swordfish, blah, blah, blah. Right. No. Hey! You didn't? Oh. Okay. Welcome, or oh fellow brother of the elucidated brethren of the sword. <laughs> it gives me a fucking custard tart. It's awesome.
This isn't black paint, it's ash. I wonder where that mason went. So now I have camouflage. That doesn't That doesn't Looks like that shadow, just someone's choking out some bitch. Okay, so let's see. That doesn't. Clatchian cat with something wriggling. That doesn't. Do you get any heroes in here? Oh, I hate them. Always in here, flexing their muscles, strutting about in the posing pouches. Posing pouches? Yeah, God knows what they're keeping them. Barky, Clatchian cactus juice. Hang on, sir. I'll just have a look. Yes? Sorry, sir. Just increasing the dramatic tension. So there's a word inside of it. Of course. He's drunk. So let's see. Him, old um, old um, what's his face? The uh, uh, hero. Him, a hero. Nice. It's hundreds to one that a little wimp like him could take out a dragon. Where's your friend gone now? Uh, Snubbing. What is that? Him in that grave? He's only shamming. Wants to see who turns up with flowers. Look. I really think you were to call a doctor or something. I think he might be quite ill. No, don't play along with it. It'll only encourage him. <laughs> As heroes, I mean real bona fide heroes, don't you think there's something useful you should do? Oops. 
do? Are we invited to a do? Mm, well, do. Take action. Fight against oppression, that sort of thing. Long time since I last went to do. There was custard, I remember. And sausages on pearls. Of course there was custard. No, I mean, shouldn't... Shouldn't we all band together against the dragon? A band? Canopies. That's what they called them. Stuck in a pineapple. Very cultured. I wonder if we're invited. What can you tell me about heroes? Heroes? Can we tell you about heroes or not? Yes, indeedy. Can we what? What? Tell him about heroes. Oh, oh yes, yes, heroes. But the first thing your potential hero must do is look right. Can't have howdy looking heroes, can you? No, indeedy. Now, the most important thing for your aspiring hero is a posing punch. Just a thing for attracting. Yes, indeedy. Oh, indeedy me. The bigger the better. That's what I always say. Just it. I really do think we ought to get organised about this dragon. Right, right. Absolutely. But I told him you won't find one around here. The city's built on loam, you see. You've got to go up to the mountains to find them. What, what, what are you talking about this time? Uh, rocks. Uh, you, you need a rock. A rock and some bark. Or uh, stocks. I've got some 10% stocks in a company somewhere. <laughs> Can't say I want a dragon to eat them, though. Yeah, no sharecropping here. A virgin tied to a rock with bonds. You have to have it. It's tradition. <laughs> Why is tradition so important? Because human beings are essentially repetitive creatures. Why? Because human beings are essentially repetitive creatures. Why? Because human beings oh, are Jesus essentially Christ. repetitive creatures. Why? Because human beings are essentially repetitive creatures. Why? Because human beings are giving. You've got more practice at this than me. Oh, you don't get to my age without being open to old ideas. Uh, they were supposed to tell me about something. Well, excuse me. But they never did. So maybe I come back to them. Oh. The art of signposting is apparently lost. Why did that change? All right. What are you selling this time? Weight loss, sir. I beg your pardon. Feeling like a bucket of lard, sir? Like the proverbial ambulatory what's name? Why? Look, what are you selling this time? Just get it over with. It's the Leecho Suction Weight Loss Program, sir. Guaranteed to turn a hippo into a nymph in just one year or your money back. Let me guess, you're proposing you 